I'm cutting open three soft top surfboards to see which one is built the strongest. We have the classic cheap wave storm, catch surf, and our new host TV soft top. So I just ordered this chainsaw from Amazon and apparently it needs oil. He's an oil can. Oh, my elbows. <sighs> my little hack is to use coconut oil for everything. So we're gonna try that. As long as the temperature stays warm enough, the coconut oil will stay liquid and it should be fine. We're using organic coconut oil because she only deserves the best. So this is like the Tesla of uh, chainsaws. As you can see, it's electric. It's that new age technology. All right, time to cut. We're gonna start off with the wave storm. I know this one is gonna take last place because I've snapped a few of these in my time surfing and it's basically just a foam blank with a stringer down the middle. So let's cut that one open first. I think we're, uh, we're gonna try just putting it on this pull-up bar. I don't want it to go flying when I cut into it. I've never used a chainsaw before. I think if we tie it down here, that'll be good. Well, I think you're also uh, not supposed to cut where rope is, because if it gets tangled up, you know, bad things happen. I survived. All right, looks like we got three stringers in here, and that's it. Three stringers and foam. They're uh, pretty beefy stringers. Three of these is the only uh, structural support of a wave storm. And the rest of it is just foam all the way through. You got a little, a little plastic layer here, and then the rest of it is foam. So that is going to be the worst board. I'm sure. And now, I'm not sure about this one. My buddy gave me his old catch surf board. It feels pretty solid. I'm guessing this one and the Hostivi board are gonna be similar, with the benefit being that the Hostivi is cheaper. Cheaper, if you didn't hear that. Let's find out. I mean, I don't think I have to uh, tie it down. It didn't really pull, that one. Let's just cut it. Clean. What? Oh, very similar. It also has the three big stringers. It feels like there's nothing that's just foam on the top. There's no uh, fiberglass in there or resin. And then the bottom is actually the same. This feels just like the uh, wave storm. Weird. Yeah, it's all soft. The bottom is just that layer too. Very similar to the wave storm. Let's see if the host Stevie board is built better. So this one is, we just came out this year with our soft tops. This is the 8.2, we have a 5.6 available. This is the first prototype we made, so it doesn't have the striped bottom, if you see over there. So this one was just the first prototype. It doesn't have the stripes and it doesn't have the grippy alligator skin, which is why there's wax on this one. The other one we've perfected and you don't have to use wax, but that's why we're gonna cut this one open. It has a different bottom, it doesn't have the stripes, it doesn't have the same deck, but it's constructed the same, the inside is built the same as our finished product. So when we cut it open, it'll be the same thing. Sorry, girl. It's for science. Could you hear the difference on that one? That one, uh, it was harder to cut through. And uh, we're about to find out why. So this one, yes. So here, we have the middle stringer all the way top to bottom, which is different than both the catch surf and the wave storm. And then we also have the two thick side stringers. The difference between our board, the host EV, and the other two boards, it's built like a regular fiberglass board. So there's a layer of fiberglass cloth and then resin. So it's actually a hard layer. Let me see if I can peel it back. Yeah, so. That is the, uh, the fiberglass layer. That's hard. Not the soft foam on the other boards. And then we have the same thing on the bottom. And then it has the bottom uh, HDPE layer as the other boards do. But yeah, so as you can see, the main difference is we have the fiberglass and resin layer on the top and the bottom, and then the soft top is put over top of that, and the plastic, the HDPE bottom is put underneath that. But in the middle, it's built like an actual regular fiberglass board. 
which is why they're so durable and so different than all the other soft tops out there. Let me just cut it a little bit this way. Yeah, so this is the, uh, it's hard to see. It looks soft because I'm bending it, but it's, uh, this is actually the fiberglass resin layer, which is very tough. You can't like push into the board with that layer. The bottom is more of that. So it's this whole shell around the, the foam blank, just like a regular surfboard. Let me cut this one up in the same way. Yeah, so all this stuff is really soft up here. There's no fiberglass, it's just, I don't even know, different layers of foam for the top. And then the bottom, even the bottom is just the, uh, that plastic layer. So that's surprising. I thought the catch surf was gonna be built similar to ours, the host EV, but it's built just like the wave storm almost. That's so weird. It's just the plastic layer on the bottom. I guess we see who the champion is. Catch surf, like that. All right, let's go to the wave storm, see what the wave storm has on the rail. That's it. The host EV tank. Can't even peel this one off. So it has the fiberglass and the resin on the whole the rail of it. I can't get it off. I don't know if you can see that. I can't even peel it. And I can't get this stuff up because it's the fiberglass. That's how solid that is. So I guess that's a pretty good explanation of how our boards are built better than the other soft tops and why they cost more. Our soft tops cost more than a wave storm, but it's still cheaper than a catch surf and you see how much better ours are built than catch surf. So if you want the strongest soft top you can get, I think you know their choice to make.